Mbote, hi, I'm Rama, and it is with Zola that I continue with you this series, The Bumuntu. In the previous episode, we went up a notch with regards to the different steps in accessing critical mind. Today, we're going to talk about the second reality that we ought to develop in order to access what we call critical minding. I'm talking about logic. Dear Pangi, we gotta be relentless about logic. When you are of the Kimunto school, you ought to have a critical mind. And for this, as I said before, you must be able to get the facts, be able to reason between facts and beliefs. Then you need logic. Logic must be the pillar, the base, the foundation of our thoughts. Something is not logical, dear Pange, stay away. No more falling in the traps of nonsense, of what is not logical. Oh, but since that elder there said it, I accept it, right? No, 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 no. Listen, senior X, you spoke. It is not logical. Logical in the prism of tradition. So let's drop it. The day it will make sense, I'll accept it. All right? Logic, what does it mean? It means that you have to develop a form of reasoning, referred to as deductive reasoning. I'll give you an example. We all know at the Kimunto school that Mamba, according to our ancestrality in Kikongo language, is the name of the divine consciousness of water. That Mamba is also a Mahasimbi, and that Mahasimbi can be translated in French as Archangel. Bear in mind that I'm being very careful with this translation of Archangel because we don't really know what's behind these words. So, we say that Mamba equal Mahasimbi, and Mahasimbi in Kikongo language means immortal. So, Mahasimbi equal immortal, and so Mahasimbi, the Mahasimbis are immortals. And so, Mamba equal immortal as well. So, Mamba is an immortal. Do you see the deductive reasoning here? This is important. Even with transitivity, logic is in order. Take a look at this for instance. All right. A is greater than B. B is greater than C. Then A must be greater than C, right? Someone comes and tells me that A is less than C. I look at him or her and I say, where is the logic? What are you talking about? No, but <laughs> listen, Rama, C is greater than A. I say, hold on. C is less than B and B is less than A. Why are you telling me that C is greater than A? Who are you talking to here? And you know, for some people, this is okay. This is quite okay because they have not developed deductive reasoning. Because people have a hard time understanding that you need a logic of reasoning. You cannot function without having a foundation. You need deductive reasoning, okay? You don't come and tell a pengi from the Kimumsu school that water gives life, alright? Water gives life, and to be alive you must drink water, so life is water. I mean, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? That's why people... Well, a lot of people on my Facebook page are blocked. Yeah, because 80% of people don't use reason. Someone who doesn't have a deductive reasoning as a foundation. I mean, well, how do you expect me to talk to someone who can't think for themselves? Huh? Now, following deductive reasoning, there is inductive reasoning, which is the reasoning of probability probably rather than true okay this means for, exa for example um, I'll take this example 99% of the people in the Kimunto school are women okay well since 99% of the people in the Kimunto school are women it is clear that 99% of those listening to me right now are women you see I have drawn these conclusions via induction inductive reasoning yeah, 
Because the majority of people at the kitchen to school are women, this means that the majority of those listening to me right now are women. All right, Rama, all right, did you count? No, I just reason by induction, that's all. These are types of reasoning one must have. And there is also conditional reasoning. Conditional reasoning, dear Pangi, is reasoning that leads us to understand that if you are in Gagataki, that is, if you are initiated to Gataki level 4, if you are in Gagataki, then you are a master of the elements. That is conditional reasoning. In conditional reasoning, it's about if and so and then. If so, then. All right? To wrap up, here is the fourth reasoning type. I'm talking about reasoning by fundamental principle. Here, you're looking for the why. Why do I got to do this? Why do I got to enroll at the Kimonto school? Why do I have to bring my sister to the Kimonto school? Because I want my family to be able to achieve this. And for what purpose? Well, for the elevation of consciousness. This is the logical reasoning by fundamental principles. I have myself experienced this. I will help others experience this. I have connected to my guide and I want others to be connected to their guides too, with a view to live this experience. Mm -hmm. Dear Pangi, I'm Rama, speaking to you from the land of our ancestors all the way in Senegal. Listen to the voice of Africa. Jeff Matondo and see you next time. Zola.